Hi guys, it's Olga and today I'm going to show you how I make my zucchini hummus. Personally, I try to stay away from beans and chickpeas as much as possible because they give me quite a lot of digestive issues. So I was really happy when I realized you can still make hummus without using any chickpeas because hummus is one of my favorite snacks to make. So if you're like me and you're not friends with chickpeas or if you just want to try something different, I'm sure you're going to love this recipe. Let's get started. For our hummus, we will need zucchinis, tahini, some garlic, my mom found this gigantic garlic somewhere, lemon juice, olive oil, and spices. For the spices, I'm going to use cumin, salt, and chili powder. I'm going to steam zucchinis first before blending them, but you could totally make hummus using raw zucchinis. This time my grocery store didn't have any organic zucchinis, so I'm going to peel these babies today. Then I cut zucchinis into chunks and steam them for about 5-6 to six minutes. Let zucchinis cool down for a few minutes before blending. Combine all ingredients in your food processor and blend until smooth. As always, I will have exact measurements and directions on my website at fablunch.com. This is the consistency that you get. It is a bit liquid at first, but it thickens up after you store it in the fridge for a couple of hours. Speaking of storage, you should store the hummus in an airtight container. I just use my small fab lunch container for it. The hummus will stay fresh in the fridge for about 5 days. I always try to have this hummus on hand, it's such a yummy and convenient snack. When I'm super hungry and still have to make food, I just dip a few crackers or veggies into the hummus to satisfy my hunger quickly and prevent me from eating something I shouldn't be. Thank you so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my healthy lunch and snack ideas. Don't forget that I'll have the measurements and directions posted for you on my website at fablunch.com. So if you're gonna recreate it, check it out there. Also, if you do make this recipe, please, please send me a picture on social media. You can find me everywhere at fablunch. I love seeing your recreations, guys, they make my day. I love you very much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.